what's up everybody so um hope you guys just enjoyed that back and by workout the coach and i are going to sit with you and talk to you about what's next so i'm getting a lot of questions people are kind of picking up on the hints at uh the the, the bulk the, is the bulk done what am i doing next am i cutting am i going for 225 you know is, am i trying to bring back the shreds what's next um so talk to the coach the whole time doing this bulk, I was complaining. I didn't like the way I looked. Um, I'm so used to working out in the gym, taking my shirt off, being shredded, having cuts, and whatnot. Even though I know to get to that next level, you have to bulk. And um, when the coach gave me my plan, my reverse diet plan, I didn't follow it. No, really. No, what you did for a few I weeks. I tried to, and there's no excuse. There's no excuse to it why I didn't follow it. Um, it's just laziness. I just didn't. I didn't put 100% effort into following it. Uh, and to tell you the truth, it's actually harder, in my opinion, to reverse diet um, than it is to cut. It, it's really tough. Um, so it's tedious. It, yeah, it is. It's very tedious. So um, I told the coach that, man, I'm, you know, I got to 200 pretty quick. Yeah, we, well, once you broke through that plateau, uh, it happened pretty fast. Yeah, once I, yeah, once I through that plateau. Yeah. I hit that, I had one plateau at 185, 185, and then after that, just whew, yep. it just went up to 200 quick. Um, and you know, we're talk, we're, the coach and I talked the whole time during this, um, during this ball game, you know, what's next or when we do cut, how long it's gonna, how long is it gonna be? And I was pretty much going down the road of having a like 22, 20, 20 week cut, or what were you saying? Like, well, so. First of all, you, you all can tell that Logan was pretty self-conscious. I mean, you can look at his tan. If you remember last summer, I mean, he's as light as I am right now. He, he didn't take his shirt off all summer. Uh, so he, when he tells that's, me he was whining. That's very uncommon. Uh, a lot, he was. I have my shirt off every day in the summer. I'm always at the river. I'm always outside, shirt off. And this summer, yeah, he didn't do it. Uh, Might as well I guess sweater. that's why wintertime is bulking season. Maybe next year it will be. And that's originally how we planned it. Yeah, if he had followed the reverse diet, his calories would have still been pretty low, uh, even at this point. Now, we were, the reason he's talking about a 22-week cut is because he started getting a little doughy. So when you bulk for a long period of time, especially when your carbohydrates are up, and when they get, you know, he had cleaned it up a lot towards the end, but they were pretty dirty carbs for a while, and, and if it fits your macros, crowd's going to tell you that it doesn't matter. And I would tend to agree with that to a, to a degree. Um, you start to get a little insulin resistant, and Logan started getting a little doughy. And you'll see it uh, at some point in this video. You're actually seeing it right now. Yeah, you're looking at it right now. You'll see these getting a little doughy, and that's why it was so easy for him once we broke through that 185 plateau. That was why it was so easy for him to put weight on. Is um, started a lot of fat deposition, and yep. it's not a big deal because if you're going to bulk drug free, you're going to put on some fat. That's 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 natural. It happens. Um, but that meant we were going to have to pull this cut even further out. That is miserable, and it sets you up for terrible failure later on uh, down the road and it could have cost him significant muscle mass when we were cutting. So we're going we're gonna to pull back a little bit. Uh, we might do um, a, a slower cut now. Uh, you know, we've got plenty of time. You know, during the holidays, we'll probably take a little diet break before we kick everything off after the first of the year. Uh, this is what you do. You adapt. You adapt. And uh, it's always tough because uh, I, can, I can tell him what to do and he's going to eventually, inevitably, he's going to do what he wants to do. Um, but you adapt, you, you figure out a way to make it work, and then uh, you move forward. Yeah, so that's what's next, guys. Uh, it's a, I'm not going to say it's a shred, because I'm not aiming to get shredded, no. but it is a cut. Bring it back, because like, like Coach said, got a little too doughy, was putting on a lot of fat, and I put on a lot of strength, as you guys can see. 315, I got it up twice. I could probably get it up three times now. 420, a max out on squat. That's an all-time PR. Um, so my strength went out the roof, but again, a lot of fat along with, with, with some muscle. Uh, so to bring it back, I'm going to cut a little bit. Uh, my goal for this cut is to get to what, 170, 175? I'd say 175, 180. Uh, okay. gonna, I think what we want to do now is show everyone how to do it slowly, but we're only going to change things when we need to. So we're not throwing in a bunch of cardio. There's no six day a week cardio, there's no, no one hour sessions or yeah. anything like that. So right now, I'm only doing one day of cardio. One day of cardio and it's half hour or less, no crazy intensity. 
we're only going to add things when we need it. Uh, we only cut your calories by a few hundred. Uh, yeah. When your metabolism's humming, you don't do anything insane to change it. I think we've talked probably now on two or three, two Q and A's at least about how you can screw your metabolism up yeah. and make a drastic go, change. Yeah, you go way too low. This whole bulk would be for not. Right. And so it would just I would ruin everything. So I don't want to go too low. Slowly going to come down. We're going to keep lifting heavy. Yeah. We're not going to change anything up. We're going to keep lifting heavy. We're going to keep lifting like he's trying to bulk. Uh, and we'll bring everyone along every step of the way so yeah. you can see how this is done. So that's it guys, gonna go on a, a little mini cut. Goal is 175. Try to get some abs back, try to feel comfortable with the shirt off, and then we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the bulking series. It is now over. We're gonna go on a little mini cut series. So I hope you guys enjoy this next series and uh, watch how I slowly come down and bring try to bring back the abs and have the shirt off and uh, you all feel comfortable. Focus on how much bigger he looks as we trim fat off of his frame. Yeah. Let's see how big, how much bigger I look. How much weighing bigger less. I look. Yeah, weighing less. So, because we're gonna get rid of the fat. The easiest way to look like you gain 10 pounds is to do what? Lose 10 pounds of fat. You know, the easiest way to gain, look like you gain 10 pounds of muscle, lose five pounds of fat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. All right, guys. So we'll see you on the next series. Peace.